Listen, there are two types of guys on the planet, bro. You can either be a Jerry Smith, not knowing the cheat codes to life, or you can be a Rick Grimes, Drizzy Drake, knowing the cheat codes to life. It's your choice. Now, if you want to continue remaining as a Jerry Smith, not knowing how to maneuver through life, being sad, miserable, and pathetic, that's up to you. Go ahead and click off the video because I'm telling you, it will waste both of our time. Now, if you understand that you no longer want to continue being a Jerry Smith, not knowing the cheat codes to life, and you want to learn the cheat codes and how to excel and be the best version of you, be the top 10% man who has access to whatever he wants in life, then continue watching on. Life is a video game, episode three. Here are the cheat codes. Welcome back to your favorite self-improvement series on the whole entire platform. We're gonna be talking about cheat codes today, baby. I remember three years ago, I made a post on my Instagram spam saying, what are the cheat codes to life? Like, I was just being random. I was like, what the, bro, like, I was just struggling. You know what? I was looking like this guy. I was like, what are the cheat codes to life? I just wish that I knew them. Now it's three years later, and I'm telling you, I've done, I've done some research, I've gained some experience in life, and I've learned the cheat codes to life, and I'm ready to just share them with you. Also, just want to mention, this video is going to be pretty long, but it's super chill and it's packed with hella information so i suggest you go grab a snack go grab some popcorn and just sit back kick back relax and just let the video play and absorb all of this juicy knowledge that nobody else is talking about on youtube so let's get it so here's a cheat code to life obviously i'm not going to show you yet but we're going to go through okay so there's five cheat codes in this video if i come up with some more if you all come up with some let me know down in the comments and i'll put them in the next video and make a part two of this but we're just gonna jump right into it. I'll show you this list at the end of the video, okay? Cheat code number one is gonna be looks maxing. It's an idea that you can maximize your potential and what you can look like, basically. I don't know if I explained that right, but I got some images on the screen to help me explain that. So you see this guy right here. This guy is actually a popular YouTuber on the platform. Um, I think his name is like Angel or something like that. You can clearly see this guy over here is a whole lot less attractive. It, look, first of all, I, I'm not gonna be like saying pause and shit like that. Like we can be adults about this. Don't be kids. If you're gonna be childish, like come on now. I'm not gonna be like saying pause or like no homo or anything like that. I think a guy can appreciate or can tell when another guy is attractive, objectively. You feel me? Anyways, just wanna clear that up. So you can clearly see this guy is a lot more attractive. He looks a lot more dominant than his older self. They look like two completely different people. This looks like his older brother or maybe even his uncle, you feel me? This guy right here, he's your normal average guy. So we're talking about a YouTuber. Of course, the YouTuber is going to be more attractive. But we're talking about just a normal guy. I think this guy lost about like 50, 60, 70 pounds. He looks like a whole different human, bro. So if you're somebody who's struggling, like you're overweight or something, I'm telling you, getting in the gym or getting on a treadmill, getting a, a meal plan, a diet plan is worth it, bro. Because look at this shit right here. He's a whole different person. They're not even the same person. If somebody, if you went to high school with this guy, and then you seen this guy three years later in the grocery store, you would not, you would walk right past him. You'd be like, what, what the, you don't, why you act like you don't know me? You feel, it's a whole different person. Look at Chris Pratt. Obviously, we know what Chris Pratt looks like. But this looks like your average five walking around in the grocery store, and he turned into an eight or a nine out of ten. Look at him. This is crazy. We got this guy right here, he lost weight, a completely different person. Obviously, we got Drake here, and then we got this guy. So I wanted to include this guy just in case, like, maybe you're a nerdy guy that's watching. You're like, you know, me being like the rapper type, that's not me. It's just not me. You feel me? And that's fine. Maybe you're a nerdy type of guy, but look, you can see a huge drastic difference that you can do just by losing weight. And then I saved Drake for last because I want to talk about something specific. Obviously, people are going to be like, oh, well, Drake is, he's famous and he can just pay for steroids. And Bro, shut up. Shut up. You're talking like Jerry Smith right now. But anyway, so how do you do looks maxing is the important part. So for all of these, I'm going to give you some tips that are short term, which is you can literally do these in the next two weeks. 
some midterm. You can do these in the next three months. And long term is like six months, a year, and multiple years down the road. So how do you do looks maxing, okay? So an immediate thing that you can do is, first of all, get a diet plan, get a meal plan, and understand how calories work and understand how gaining fat and losing fat works. So go on YouTube, search how to calculate calories, something like that, okay? And that's going to send you on the path to be able to do something like this because you're not going to have a transformation like this unless you're doing something unhealthy like starving yourself and running on the treadmill for five hours a day. Um, and then you're going to have a bunch of loose skin and you're going to be regretful. And you're going to have to get surgery, which costs thousands of dollars, or you could just do it the right way the first time. You feel me? So how do you do stuff like this? Short term, I say, go onto YouTube, search how to calculate calories, go on the internet and find a beginner's workout plan, beginner's diet plan on cutting if you want to lose weight or bulking if you want to gain weight. Also, another short-term thing is you probably have clothes in your wardrobe right now that look good. You're just not putting, putting them together correctly. And what I mean is you got to go and search and learn how to do color blocking. And what color blocking is is basically combining colors together to make an outfit look good. Now, guys don't talk about shit like this because they think it's like girlies. That's not a feminine thing, bro. You just want to look. Let's be honest. We all want to look good. And girls know how to dress well, and you got to learn from that. Take that and learn how to dress well for yourself. So do color blocking, shit like that. So long term, obviously, you want to follow that meal plan, that diet plan, and you want to get the most out of it. You want to lose weight. You want to build muscle over time. After 12 months in the gym, you could have transformations like all of these guys. All of these guys, you could have stuff. Um, a transformation like this within a year and then I put Drake here because of the beer transformation This is something you can do within six months if you're like old enough if you have enough testosterone So let's move on to the next cheat code and that right there is looks maxing. Okay, so good mental health All right, I'm not gonna get all woo woo spiritual on you. Let me just tell you Damn smack the fuck out of my microphone. Let me just tell you the importance of good mental health, right? So I got these two images right here. I got Conor McGregor. Why do I have Conor McGregor on a post about good mental health or on a slide? And then I got this guy in a suit. He's clearly confident in himself. What does this mean? Okay. So guys go through a lot of stuff. We have a lot of challenges and battles that we have to face in life. You feel me? We got a lot of responsibilities, financial, dealing with relationship, all types of shit, right? That's why I got these guys here. If you want to be successful, it takes work. That simply put, right? I want to be successful on YouTube, so I need to spend the next six months uploading at least two videos per week for six months consistently. How many people can do that? Not a lot of people. That's why a lot of people have the dream of becoming a YouTuber, but they're never going to fulfill that dream because they don't have the good mental health. That's why I put this here. You see this? They're going to try to do one video, get frustrated with it and say, video editing is hard. Talking to a camera is hard. And they're going to quit. And they're going to give up. Why do they do that? Because they don't have the good mental health. Because if you had the good mental health, you would be able to show up at the gym seven days a week and spend hours in the gym crafting a body, crafting, uh, building up your cardiovascular to be able to last round after round after round in an MMA fight. You would be able to put in eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours a day on your side hustle to turn it into a full-time business if you had that good mental health. But if you don't, you're going to get frustrated and quit. Now, I'm not saying you won't get frustrated if you meditate, because I still do when I'm editing and things like that. But that good mental health allows you to get to the other side. Some people start here and end here. But some people start here and then they end here. This is what you want to do. So how do you have good mental health? I say start with meditation, obviously. If you tried it and you failed, maybe you weren't doing it right and that's fine. Just sit down and practice breathing for 30 seconds. 
just focus on your breathing for 30 seconds and then do it again tomorrow do it for 60 seconds and then do it again the next day do it for two minutes and just double your time every time till you get up to 10 minutes and if you can't double your time just stay where you're at and keep doing that day by day by day until you can double your time or just add one minute or whatever just try that and try guided meditations on youtube it helps so much and doing that is going to allow you to accomplish whatever goal you want to I'm telling you, that is a foundation of everything. Mental health is the number one cheat code. It's like the number zero. It comes before everything. I learned that from a YouTuber called Hamza, all right? So that's how you practice good mental health, and it leads you to success. Now let's move on to the next cheat code. Wealth. Now we're talking about money here, okay? So money is important. Very, very, very important in a man's life. And it's actually, it could be used as a tool and a cheat code in life. And let me show you why, okay? So I grew up in places like this, right? This looks like a, a normal a normal house that I would grow up in. Or like friend's house or cousin's house and shit like that. I grew up in places like this, bro. That is not okay. That is not a good quality of living. Would you want to raise your kid in a place like this? Like, to be honest? Like, would you? Men have to deal with so many, and I we're, trust me, we're going to get to the fun stuff. We just got to get through this right now. I just got to point this out. Men go through so much shit, like financially. And that's, why, that's what I was talking about in the last slide. Look at this guy. Stress the fuck out because of financial problems. You need to solve your money problems early on in life, as early as possible. I'm telling you, please stop going to concerts. Stop going out to fast food and restaurants and clubs and bars and shit and spending all your money while you're young. When you're young, find a good job that you can stay at and for four years, stack up your bread. I'm telling you, when you're 25 and you're out there going to all those concerts and festivals and all that shit, you're going to be 25 and broke while you have somebody who's the same age as you and they're looking successful as fuck like this guy 25 years old 28 years old now i know it might be hard for you to see that right now because you're young but i'm telling you it is so worth it to save stack it up stack up your bread right now because you don't want to end up like this guy you're like oh i'm not going to end up homeless but yeah okay cool you have a house but it looks like this or you live in a project because you can't afford good rent so you live in somewhere like this you had a car, but your car is getting fucking towed, and you can't pay the bills for it. You feel me? You're going to be riding a bike, carrying all your groceries, looking like this guy. No offense to him. I'm pretty sure that's just what they do in their country. But I'm just saying, you don't want to end up like this. So I don't want to talk too much about that, obviously. The point is, you just want to make sure that you get your finances under control at a young age and save up your bread. Cut down your expenses as low as possible. Anybody can do this shit. I'm not talking about becoming a millionaire. I'm talking about keep your expenses low and make some money. If you're a young man, you should be working. Next cheat code. Now... We're getting to the fun stuff right here, okay? This is called Life Setup. This is a concept that I learned from the YouTuber. Uh, his channel is called First Man, the number one ST, like First Man. Uh, and trust me, his entire channel is a gold mine, a gold mine. And that's kind of where I got the idea for these this type of content. But anyway, so look at the look at this guy right here, right? So, would you rather work at a McDonald's? making about $20,000 a year, or be a dentist making six figures. Most people would probably want to be a dentist making six figures a year. You make $100,000, you're making five times more money. You're making more money than you need, okay? But this is where life setup comes into play, because we already talked about money. This is different from money, all right? So once you have the money, once you started that side hustle, and you might have turned it into a full-time business, this is where life setup comes into play. Because how, how do people know that you have money if you just have the money, you're just saving it all? This is where life setup comes into play, okay? So would you rather be that dentist making six figures a year, 100000 or would you rather be a male fashion model making the same amount of money but you get to travel the world you get to meet amazing people you get to meet influencers celebrities 
You get to do whatever you want to. You get to get paid by contract. So you can go a week without working and just traveling and say, yeah, I'll go pick up this gig, do a photo shoot for two days, get paid thousands of dollars, and then do whatever the fuck you want to do for the rest of the week or the month. You feel me? This guy gets all these benefits. Great. Yeah, I get a 401k. Awesome. But he works. He gets two weeks of vacation a year. Your life is a vacation at this point, you feel me? This is why life setup is important. What type of career are you choosing? That's why you spend those first four years working at a job you don't wanna work at. Let's say you work at Walmart and you just save up all of your money because by the time you get to this age, you can start doing some dangerous shit in your mid 20s, you feel me? So I want you to start experiencing more life because where I grew up, we didn't experience anything. I'm 22 and a half years old right now, and I have seen maybe three states in my entire life, in the 50 states of America, okay? You want to start getting exposed to stuff like this. Maybe even earlier if you can, bro. Look, this is a five-star hotel. I've never been around shit like this before in my life, right? Five-star hotel view. You feel me? You want to be able to experience stuff like setting up your life in a way that it's extremely beneficial to you. Uh, for whatever outcome you want. Like, look at Kevin Hart right here. This is his home gym. Dude doesn't even have to leave his house to go to the gym. Look at the giant mirrors with the TV and got the full weight rack. You might have like a bench and some dumbbells at your house, but this man has a whole entire full home gym. Something else like this, like acting. If you, if you get a career in acting and you're only making six figures, I think that would be a much better job than being the dentist who works 40, 60, 50, 40, 50, 60 hour work weeks. You feel me? And he never has time for his family. You're out here, you're networking with celebrities. You're out here living your best life. Like your life is a vacation once again. And actors get paid in huge chunks. So you might film for months and months, but get paid six figures for the year and then take the rest of the year off. You feel me? Somebody like like Drake. Drake gets to do whatever the hell he wants. Well, Drake's a little different because he's like high status rapper. But if you're a rapper and you're only making six figures, bro, you get to ride around in Lambos and shoot music videos. Like, but it's all about what you're into. These are the things that I'm into. You gotta figure out what you're into. You feel me? Like, what are you trying to accomplish? Are you trying to start a family? And if you wanna start a family, I mean, this is a secure, stable job, but you don't get to spend a lot of time with your family. Uh, is your goal to be a bachelor and like get hella girls? Well, if you if that is your goal, then doing something like this, you're gonna be making the same amount of money. And trust me, you're going to be around a lot of females. They're gonna be like, oh, he's that model. Oh, he's that guy with a hundred thousand followers on Instagram, five hundred thousand followers. These are the things you gotta look at when you want to set up your life. All right, I don't want to ramble too long on that. But how do you get into stuff like this? You need to first do the wealth take care of the money you feel me and then once you get here use the money for the right shit that's it don't buy shit that that is not benefiting your life setup buying a house when you're 25 30 years old because you got doctor money is no that's a no-no use your money for the right shit take vacations shit like that anyways moving on to the next one game so this last one is going to be game social skills and charisma all tied into one i just called a game for simplicity all right here's why game is important this is the last one okay game and social skills is important to get girls yes of course but not just that it's not just to get girls it's also to prevent bullshit like this bullshit like this bro you don't want to be the fucking loser dweeb guy who's with your girl and you're getting pissed off that she gets attracted to other guys because girls are, attra are attracted by physical features, of course, but it's not even just that. How, how well do you charm your girl and keep her fantasizing about you? You feel me? Like, this guy has no problem having a girl locked onto him. You feel me? He's probably hanging out with her and like, yeah, they're spending time together, but she's not fantasizing about him in her head she's thinking about other guys because this guy has no game he has no charm no charisma you feel me same thing here but why is that important it's not just for girls too it's about power you want to make sure that you become a powerful man because if not then people will walk over you in life 
and you don't want that to happen. Look at this guy. He says, I know this is just a meme. It's just a cartoon, but dude's like, not sure if this girl is staring at me because she thinks I'm cute or I'm so weird looking that it's interesting. Now, I know that it's just a joke. I know it's just a meme. It's just a cartoon or whatever, but there's guys that walk around like that and think like that. I mean, I think that most people walk around thinking shit like that. Why does it matter? If if a girl is staring at this dude in public, you think he's going to be thinking not sure if no, it doesn't fucking matter why she's staring at you. Do you find her attractive? The likely answer is yeah, that you do find her attractive. Is this guy going to have a problem going up and just saying hi? That's the type of guy that you want to be. If a girl is looking at you, you don't want to be second guessing if, if she's looking at you because she finds you attractive or is she looking at me because she thinks I'm weird. Like, bro, really? Does it matter? If you find her attractive, you should be able to walk up to her and say, hey, I'm Jonathan. I, I just thought you were really cute. I just had to say hi to you. How you doing? And just be able to just have a conversation, a normal conversation. These types of guys, the average guy, look at girls like they're a fucking alien or a different species from another planet, you feel me? You need to be able to have game, social skills, charisma, so that you can effectively just build relationships with people. It's also, like I said, power. This is for job interviews. Maybe you wanna get a sales job, maybe you wanna get an acting role, a modeling gig, whatever. Maybe you wanna negotiate a deal. You need to have the game, the social skills, the charisma, even for making friends with dudes in the gym. You need to have the social skills and the charisma to be able to walk up to a dude and be like, hey, you, you still using that weight? And then just have like a normal conversation. Like, yeah, I just got into martial arts. Like, have you ever thought about like combat sports or anything like that? Just be able to build relationships with people. If not, you're going to be a weird fucking dude and be like, not sure if this guy wants to be my spot or if he just thinks I'm too skinny. Like, anyways. That's cheat code number five, okay? That is the last cheat code. How do you practice game short term? Go every single weekend, go out somewhere. If it's a grocery store, if it's a club, a bar, wherever, and just practice talking to people. Just practice talking to people. And once you get good at that and having a normal conversation with a stranger, start talking to girls and do it over and over again until you feel comfortable having a conversation for a couple minutes and then practice talking to attractive girls, like really attractive looking girls. And then do that over and over again. It's gonna build your confidence and it's gonna trickle into every other area of your life. Cause I'm telling you, if you don't get this area of your life situated, you will be a non-confident person in life and everything you do, in job interviews and everything. But those are the cheat codes in life. Looks maxing, having good mental health, getting your wealth set up, getting your life set up, and having game, social skills, and charisma. You feel me? You need to work on all those areas of your life. And once you do, like I said, it could take three months, six months to a year, but at the end of the day, it's worth it. Any guy can work on these areas. I don't care if you work at Walmart, just cut your expenses down as low as possible. Sell your shit if you need to. Get a closer job if you need to. And focus on these things for the next 90 days and your life will change. If you want a one-on-one -on -one customized plan on how to level up your life specifically, click the first link in the description. It's time to level up. Let's get it.